most of my viewers have been asking me the same question over and over again that they need to know more about zodiacs what each planet or what each uh, house or what each sign carries so that they not only understand themselves better but also are able to understand the other human beings better now we all understand that yes that we are either an alien or we are a Taurian or a Gemini or a Cancer even when we are building up relationships with them if we know the zodiac sign of the other person we are able to handle our relationship much better because we understand the human being much better keeping all these questions in my mind I came up with an idea that I am going to let my viewers know zodiacs at a glance We start with Aries. Now, where Aries is concerned, um, their element is fire. See, we are all divided into different elements, fire, air, water and earth. So the Aries element is fire. What is the ruling planet? It's Mars. The career planet is Saturn. Love planet, Venus. Money planet is also Venus. The planet of fun, entertainment, creativity and speculation is the sun planet. Planet of health and work for them is Mercury. Planet of home and family life is Moon. Planet of spirituality, Neptune. Planet of travel, education, religion and philosophy, Jupiter. The colors for Aries are red, scarlet, carmine. Colors that promote love and romance and social harmony, they need to wear green, all hues, especially the green jade. Colors that promote their earning power, again green. The very good gem that suits their psyche is amethyst. The metals that are good for them are iron and steel. The scent is honeysuckle. The quality is cardinal, so they require a lot of activity. The quality most needed for bringing balance into their psyche is patience and caution. The strongest virtues they have is abundant physical energies, courage, honesty, independence and self-reliance. The deepest need they want is to be active. They need action all the time. The characteristics that they need to avoid is haste, impetuousness, over-aggression and rashness. Signs of greatest overall compatibility is Leo and Sagittarius. But the signs of greatest overall incompatibility is Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. Simultaneously, the sign which is most helpful for their career is a Capricorn. And the sign most helpful emotionally is a Cancer. The sign that helps them financially is Taurus. Signs best for their marriage or partnership is Libra. Signs most helpful for creative projects is Leo. Best sign that they can have fun with is again Leo. The signs most helpful in spiritual matters for them is Sagittarius and Pisces. And what is the best day of the week for them? Tuesdays. Now, when we talk about planets, it basically means that the career planet or the money planet, when it is closest to their house, those are the best periods. So when we say Mercury is passing through the Aries sign, that means what is Mercury bringing for them? It's bringing for them a good career. Similarly, there are different planets affecting different houses. So you be aware of what's affecting you. In uh, your sign, you will notice that there, there are various diversions, your best incompatible signs and your best compatible signs. You will invariably see that the incompatible signs are the ones that are helping you in your career or are they very good for your partnership or they are very good for your financial uh, upliftment. You must understand that every sign has a goodness about them. And from every sign we learn. So what is the thing that you learn from so that your finances get better or your life get better? Definitely 
uh, it's uh, a little hypothetical but at the same time uh, you definitely learn from the sign that you're most incompatible with so don't get confused when i say the incompatible signs can also be signs that help you financially because they do so whenever you come across a leo or a, a sign that you are incompatible with you must understand that don't hate that sign or don't hate that person because that person can also be beneficial to you in more ways than one in the coming videos i would be explaining how every planet helps a sign and also in the coming videos i would explain how one sign is related to the other sign whether it's for financially or uh, uh, for your partnership or for your career or for sp your spirituality so how they are going to be helping i would be explaining to you all in detail in the coming segments thank you